In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up Fortson to utilize the dashboard and eliminate the ability for the student to change the blocks and customize the dashboard. Why would you wanna do that? Well, because you might want a consistent look and feel that teachers can count on, especially in a K-12 environment. So, step one, we're going to set the dashboard as the home page if it's not already set. Uh, so we go to appearance, we go to navigation, and right here, default home page for users, make sure it says dashboard. Previously, we recommended that you use site, but now with the latest widgets and blocks, we recommend the dashboard. Okay, scroll down, save changes. The next thing that we will want to do <clears throat> is eliminate the ability for the users to change or customize the dashboard. So we're gonna go to users. We're going to go to define roles. And ours is, uh, this is a default setup and authenticated user is what we want. And we're gonna edit these settings. And down here, you're going to want to search for Manage Dashboard. Currently, the user is allowed to manage the dashboard blocks. So uh, we're gonna switch that to Prohibit or Prevent. Um, I just prefer Prohibit. I don't know exactly what the difference is, but this works for us. So with that done, the next step and final step is to set the default dashboard page. So we're gonna go here <clears throat> and we're gonna turn block editing on and you can customize this however you want. And maybe we'll just add in latest badges. Okay, here it is. We're gonna drag it over here um, why don't we send it down to the last item? So it's down here, latest badges. Uh, we'll go to the very end. Oops. Okay. Latest badges, I don't have any badges, but we have recently accessed items. We have the timeline, and this is just amazing, this course overview block, all the things that you can do to sort and organize that. Okay, turn block editing off, and this magic button right here resets the dashboard for all your users. So once that is done, and let me see if I can find a user. Let's do this. We'll go to site admin. We'll go to users, browse list of users. And uh, this is, I'm going to log in as this user. Now, I am on, logged in as this user, and I'm on the dashboard, and I have no customization button. So um, this is locked in, and this gives the site admin the institution, your organization, the ability to control the dashboard, to set it for all the users so that everyone has a consistent uh, experience that teachers can count on. So when they give students instructions on how to get to a course, how to uh, filter or sort, um, you're not going to run into the situation where um, you have a student that says, I don't see that because they deleted a block or added additional blocks. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.